There is that one key phrase, mechanical control abnormality. And beyond that, there's a lot of speculation about what might have gone wrong. We do know that this little robotic rover vehicle needs to hunker down for the lunar night, which lasts a couple of weeks and in which temperatures drop to a minus 180 Celsius. And to prepare for that intense cold, it's supposed to fold away its most delicate instruments and then fold away its solar panels on top of them like a kind of little blanket. Now, we think from various informed speculation uh, that it's possible that one of the panels hasn't folded down as it should, which is why we're starting to get hints from the official media that the little rover might not survive, and we'll know in a couple of weeks' time when the, when the lunar night comes to an end whether it has indeed survived. Right, so a lunar night isn't, is a lot longer than a night. Not long, yes. Yeah, and, and it's already done some stuff, though, while it's been there. It landed in the middle of December. Yes, that's right. In, in many ways, it's been a great success because the land of vehicle touched down successfully, no easy task, middle of December. Very next day, uh, the little rover rolled off and has travelled about 100 metres over the lunar surface. It's got all kinds of instruments on board, including one that, that NASA or the Russians haven't deployed before, a ground-penetrating radar to, to see what's under the lunar surface. So I mean, it's done some valuable work, but it was meant to last much longer. It's quite a prestigious mission mm. for the Chinese and will be quite a blow to them. Right, I was going to say, because I remember when, when it landed, it, it was a huge news story, a very proud day for the Chinese. When something like this goes wrong so publicly, potentially embarrassing, as you say. It, it, it is, and, and that's probably why we're not getting a lot of official detail. I mean, the contrast with the Americans is striking. If something goes wrong, like Apollo 13, you know, it was all there, open for everybody to see. This was teasing out little fragments of information, putting it all together. It's generally pointing to pretty bad news for the mission. The Chinese will have to say something about it, but they've got a very long-term program for the moon. I reported on this for BBC World last month. They have future missions planned. They want to send astronauts there. Uh, this won't stop them. It's a setback, I guess. It'll be embarrassing, but they'll, they'll bounce back from it.